Greetings and welcome, friends. Mr. Wadi is here. We're on page 191. We're talking about uh, perpendicular lines specifically today, but uh, some of our parallacity will come back from yesterday. That's fine. Uh, and we're uh, just going to talk about how do I write equations of lines perpendicular to other lines passing through a point. But to like warm us up, they have this idea right here of, okay, which if any of these lines are perpendicular or parallel. Now, if they're parallel lines, all right, so let's see, uh, if lines are parallel, so if, if lines are parallel, we have that their, their slopes will be equal, right? And if they're perpendicular, we didn't show you this symbol yesterday, like this upside down capital T means perpendicular, because they, yeah, they form a little right angle. What was true about their slopes? Their slopes like M1 is gonna equal the opposite reciprocal, right, of M2 is, uh, is what it ends up being. If that notation doesn't help you, don't worry. Let's just jump right in. So let's find the slope of this orange line. Uh, so the slope rise over run, although I could also have used the slope formula. Looks like it's going up three over two. So the slope of the orange line, uh, so M sub A, I'll call it, is equal to three over two. Let's see the slope of the blue line. Ooh, that's blue. Slope of the, the azule. Uh, down two and over four, so negative two fourths, but that can reduce. Two and four are both divisible by something, uh, by two, so that's the same as uh, negative one half is the slope of line B. And ooh, this wonderful, I don't know, pinkish, purplish, fuchsia-ish, the slope of line C uh, looks like it's going up one, two, three, four, five over three. I, I think I agree. I think so. Wait a minute, yeah? So when comparing, yeah, up five over three. Hmm. Wow, so when comparing these, it appears as though, are, uh, are any of these parallel? None parallel. Uh, they didn't have the same slope. No matching slopes. Right? And none are perpendicular by the looks of it either, right? If I flip that, that would be two. If I flip an opposite that, that would have been positive three-fifths. That would have been negative two-thirds. Or sorry, negative three-fifths, negative two-thirds. Yeah, none are perpendicular. I was hope I was rooting for perpendicular perpendicularity right there, but perpendicular. Uh, no slopes are opposite reciprocals are opposite reciprocals. All right, so there's, uh, there's that question. Let's get into the, the awesome ones. These are my favorite. My favorite, friends. Here we go. Uh, give it a point and the line. Find one that is perpendicular to it. So let's see. So the given line here has a slope of one half. What is our line slope going to be? If they were parallel, so I'm going to flip it and, and opposite it. Perfect, perfect. And so what we'll do is I'll, I'll, I've also got a point, so here's my clue to help solve my riddle. Uh, I'll plug in what I know and solve for what I don't, or sorry, that's if I was using y equals mx plus b. I don't need to use y equals mx plus b. I'm going to use a point slope form y minus 10 equals m, nope, <laughs> times x minus x1 right there. Uh, and if I want it in slope intercept form, which they didn't specify in this case, but we'll, we'll, we'll write it as both. Why not, shall we? I'd have uh, y minus 10 equals negative 2x plus 14. And then I would add 10 to both sides to get y by itself. Do, do, do. And I end up with uh, y equals negative 2x plus 24. So let's uh, let's just do a quick check on this, shall we? Um, I'm gonna pull in my Desmos calculator. Uh, oop, 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 there we are. And so let's see, seven comma 10 uh, was the point. Seven comma 10, where's the comma when you want it? That is, 
Did I get a comma here? Seven tenths, so over seven up ten. There it is. There it is. And let's see, the line they gave us was uh, y equals one half x minus nine. So y equals one half x minus nine. All right. And yeah, I'll have to zoom out a little bit there to show that. So I'm looking for perpendicular. So it's going to be somewhere like that. Let's see if our line actually worked out. So our line was y equals negative 2x plus 24. Bam! Nailed it! Wow, did you see that? Did you see that? Just look at it. That is amazing, friends. Amazing. Let's do uh, this other one real quick. Uh, notice that this other one, don't, don't assume the slope is 8. It's going to trick you. This, this equation was not given to us in slope-intercept form. Oh, with the sneak. Ain't going to fool me, friend. Ooh, wow. That was a good sneeze. Let's see. 4x minus 3. So their slope, I agree, good, good call, Austin, is 4 for line 1. What is our slope going to be? Ooh, perpendicular. Flip it. And then opposite it. So negative a quarter. Uh, let's see, let's plug in our point. So uh, y minus 3 equals negative 1 fourth parentheses x minus a negative 3 is plus 3. Uh, and if you want it in slope intercept, it's going to have fractions, but that's okay. Point slope form is just the best form, really. Minus 3 fourths. Uh oh. Yeah, fractions. Let's see, add 3 to both sides. Let's see, 3 is the same as 3 over 1. To get a common denominator, I'd have to multiply it by 4. Right, right, right. And if I multiply the denominator by 4, I also have to multiply the numerator by 4. So what I've got is my scratch work over here is negative 3 fourths plus uh, 3 times 4 is 12. And 1 times 4 is 4. And when I add fractions, I add their numerators. The denominator stays the same. So I'm going to have y equals negative one-fourth x. Uh, negative 3 plus 12 is the same as 12 minus 3, which is nine-fourths. Yeah, there we go. So there's my equation. Uh, I'm not going to take the time to graph that one. I want to keep moving. Hey, a hockey puck leaves uh, the blade of a hockey stick and bounces off a wall. But uh, it travels in a new direction as shown. Your friend claims the path of the puck forms a right angle. A bam. Is your friend correct? Explain. Now, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but in terms of physics, whether it's a ray of light or a hockey puck bouncing off a wall, the angle of incidence is going to be congruent to the angle of refraction, reflection, reflection, I believe. Uh, refraction, I think, is when it passes through a prism. I don't know. Go check out some physics YouTube channel or something. Uh, so how would I know whether or not these form a right angle here, though? Hmm. Well, I could find their slopes. All right. So let's call this uh, line one. So let's see the slope of line one. It looks like it's going up four and over two. Four, four tooths, which is equal to two. And let's find the slope of uh, line two. I'll give that a different color. Uh, so that's going down four and over two. Four. Or down two and over one. Down two and over one. And I get uh, that's the same as just negative two. So the question is, are these slopes perpendicular? No. 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 So your friend is incorrect. Uh, the slopes of those lines are not perpendicular is my verbal explanation. Um, what would have been perpendicular to this one? That would have been a slope of negative one half. And a perpendicular to this one would have been a slope of negative, uh, sorry, positive one half. Yeah, so no, no go, no go. Let's see. Uh, I think I've got, yeah, I was going to just talk about these real quick. Ah, no, I lost it. Where did it go? Where's my scroll bar? Oh, it was somewhere in between a hockey player and right there. All right. Uh, determine whether the statement is always sometimes or never true. Explain your reasoning. Two lines with positive slopes are perpendicular. 
Let's see. Could I ever have? I'm going to say never, never. Because their slopes will have their slopes are opposite. Opposite reciprocals. And if they're opposite, they can't have the same positivity or negativity. All right. So so, yeah, because of opposite, uh, they could never have the same uh, positivity. Po polarity is actually how we describe that. That's the word that describes positive or negative. Let's see. A vertical line is parallel to the y axis. You, yeah. Question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But two lines with positive slopes, all right, if they're going uphill, I can't make the, like, it, one would have to have a negative slope. Well, I was saying in general, the slopes of perpendicular lines are opposite reciprocals. So these lines could never be perpendicular if, they're, if the ones described here were not opposite. So yeah, yeah, I didn't, I see, I see the confusion. Let's see, uh, well, let, let's, let's jump in on this problem. Uh, a vertical line is parallel to the y-axis. Does that make sense? I mean, I think, it, could it, is it sometimes true or always true? A vertical line is parallel to the y-axis. I'm gonna say always true. Uh, they both have no slope. Right? Vertical lines have no slope. Uh, horizontal lines have zero slope. All right. Uh, let's see. Two lines with the same y-intercept are perpendicular. Always, sometimes, or never. Let's see. So if, if I have two lines with the same y-intercept, uh, it could be perpendicular, right? But also, it could have been like not perpendicular, right? There's a lot of cases. So I, this is sometimes uh, only when their slopes are opposite reciprocals. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, thank you for watching, Internet friends. We hope you have. A great day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.